Good evening everyone, time for another member update. Now we're going to start out with a chart of the Euro US dollar just because of the recent action that we see here. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about how the US dollar has uh, started its decline and uh, that's obviously not the case here when we're looking at the Euro. Uh, if we go over to the dollar you can see that really the dollar hasn't change too much it's actually kind of in a rally phase here so back to the euro if we pull that out to the longer term you can see that the euro is testing that key one to one ratio and we know that the powers that be the new world order controllers they uh, their big experiment was the European Union and it's apparently becoming a colossal failure uh, maybe they're torpedoing it on purpose. Maybe there's another faction. I don't know. But you can see it in the performance of the euro. It's definitely tanking. Uh, but even more interesting than that, let's pull up a chart of the precious metals in the euro. So we'll start off with the silver spot in the euro. And uh, we know that silver took such a pounding that it's not going to be that bullish. But you can see that compared to the US chart we will just bounce over to the US silver chart here you can see much more of a rounding up effect in the silver euro chart than you can see in the US chart the US chart kind of appears to still be in a down primary downtrend whereas if we pull up the uh, euro silver chart you can see that it has more of a, a established uptrend kind of starting here and uh, it appears to be rounding up and has apparently put in the bottom now that's the silver chart now the euro gold chart is much more dramatic uh, because gold never really got hit as hard as silver so you can see that gold priced in euros let's pull it all the way out to the monthly well it just doesn't have that information but uh, gold Priced in euros, you can see uh, the high 1375, currently 1171, recent high 1250. So within striking distance of new all-time highs, certainly not that far off. Uh, definitely still a bull market. So, and we've seen this around the world with gold performing in various currencies as those currencies fall off. We've seen it with the collapse and starting in Zimbabwe of course and people panning for gold there and then uh, Argentina, Venezuela, uh, Cyprus although I don't think anybody there had any gold but uh, as a country begins to circle the drain then that's when you start to see precious metals perform now we've already talked about how the US is the last man standing not surprising because the US is behind a lot of this but again will it happen here absolutely i believe it will happen here it will probably happen here last but it will happen here so it appears it's starting to happen in europe and uh, i would not be surprised at all to see new highs in gold and silver in the euro this year wouldn't surprise me at all so uh just briefly to touch on the cryptocurrencies we had a massive move in litecoin that happened on march 30th and you can see that the volume came in here tremendous volume came in and litecoin went from about four dollars and 25 cents spiked all the way up to about eight bucks so almost a double uh what's going on well more rumors about this potential fork with bitcoin and my idea is that the money's not going to flow out of cryptocurrencies it's going to flow into different cryptocurrencies and it's much easier to convert one cryptocurrency to another than it is to convert cryptocurrency to cash and get actually get the cash and uh, you know things like coinbase you can deposit them on coinbase but we know that coinbase has been finding a battle for quite some time with the irs about reporting their users and we can pretty much guess why the irs wants to get their hands on whatever bitcoin profits are out there so we'll go to the Bitcoin chart here and I want you to take note of the uh, MACD on the daily. 
As I pointed out before, it looked like we were going to get a crossover. I pointed out the divergence where we had an uptrend in the price chart, a downtrend in the uh, new lows in the MACD, and now we've crossed over here. So could this be a big rally like we had at this point? Yeah, it could be, and that one led to a new high. So it's by no means over. This definitely looked for a while like a very, very ugly topping formation. Still does look pretty ugly, but you can see strength coming into it, about half of this smack down uh, taken back. Still have shenanigans going on in China. Uh, I firmly believe that I'm correct that the Chinese do not intend to let people have their Bitcoins ever again. I think the Chinese government probably stole all those Bitcoins. And uh, as opposed to Bix Weir, who thinks that they're doing a good thing, and uh, we'll see. I don't believe he's mentioned it recently, but that brings us to the topic I wanted to talk about tonight. And it started off with this Bix Weir video that he recently released about this silver hoard. Now, you've heard him talk about it and others talk about it, uh, this supposed silver hoard that went into the Manhattan Project. And there's this bizarre device they talk about, uh, I think it's called a Calutron. Supposedly this device was needed to, uh, to enrich the uranium-235, I believe it is, uh, to provide the materials for the atomic bomb. I think it was Baby Boy or whatever it was supposedly, sup I will say supposedly dropped on Hiroshima. Uh, but let's listen to this, and uh, we're going to talk about that issue. But before we do that, I wanted to talk about this silver statistical survey from the U.S. Geological Survey. Now, I'm not going to play this whole thing. I'm just going to play uh, this one part and then his conclusion. But uh, I want you to note this table that he has here uh, of silver. How does Ruta know this? If Ruta's so smart. <laughs> um, I did find proof. And there is proof, and I will show you where that proof is. It is right in this table. This is a table from the U.S. Geological Survey. And this table has historical data on silver mine production, silver recycling, silver exports. It's a great table. Uh, unfortunately, they kind of hide it now on the USGS uh, site. It used to be I could find that table no problem. I went to look for it for this report and they had hidden it. But I did track down a copy of it and this is it. Um, now he's absolutely right on that. I tried to track down a copy of it and I could not track down a copy of it. If you look at it up here at the top, here's what I want to point out. It says, uh, I think it says Silver Statistics U.S. Geological Survey and then it has the date January 28th, 2016. Um, I went to Google and look for that exact thing. You can see here, Silver Statistics Table. What they've done is they've broken out. If you go to this PDF here, you can see that they break it out. You get a yearly report, um, but you don't get that sort of table. And that sort of table is really key because there's some really strange stuff in that table. Uh, so it's not surprising to me. So if any of you can find that table, please post a link to it download it or send it to me in an email but uh, let's get back to this video where he's talking about this uh, nearly three billion ounce silver hoard and what happened to it uh, one two three four five seven columns over is the exports of silver and if you look at the exports of silver from 1981 all the way down it's fairly steady fairly steady and then you see that highlighted area it jumps from in the hundreds to the over well over 2,000 closer to 3,000 tons of silver exported between 1995 and 1998 and then it jumps right back down that's a huge amount of silver the total of those four columns comes to 10,940 tons or 350 million ounces of silver that were exported from 1995 through 1998 now if you look at the far right world production table the world's production pretty much stayed pretty flat and look at to the left under primary production and secondary production for 90, 1995 and 1996 they have in a not applicable they are not even putting it they are afraid to put it down why 
why? Why would they, they be so, so afraid? So Bix also, is going to conclude that this is related to this uh, secret stash. Uh, so let's just uh, take you to the conclusions here. And then I'm going to get into more of this uh, Manhattan Project stuff. It's what has been going on. So what are my conclusions of all this stuff? Physical silver was so scarce in the early 1990s that the U.S. government made the decision to shut down a vital secret military facility to get their hands on the 2.75 billion ounces of silver that was being used in the Calutrons. And here's just a little note from Ruta. There was no place left on Earth to find that amount of physical silver. They had run out of silver, everything except the 2.75 billion ounces that was in the, the Calutron. So they shut it down and pulled it out, and that's been what's been flooding into the markets. There's your solution for why silver never, you know, always flirts with uh, shortages, but never really becomes a shortage is because all this silver was being used. So how much physical silver is left in the world now? unknown so there you go but even if bix is correct about that by those numbers that that silver has already been used up do i believe the story about the calutrons the manhattan project and all this stuff no i i don't believe it and one of the primary reasons i don't believe it is just these videos that have been uh exposing this nuclear hoax fakery and uh, just looking at the videos that the U.S. government released of these supposed nuclear weapons uh, is pretty telling. There's, there's the shaking the camera, supposedly. <laughs> Do nuclear bombs exist? Your immediate answer is yes. But how do you know? During the mid-20th century, television and movie watchers were... So you see that? The bad physics there? These are the films of these... Bomb bomb Supposed buildings being was blown up from the blast of footage. these bombs. Really well, if you look at it closely, you can see watching. these are little toy models. Watch the sway on they this thing here, this tower. You see that? You see how it goes back and forth? On their computer. So That's a little toy model. Have, but to accept these images at their face value. Now we have opportunity the little, to little toys, these images little models. To see if they hold up to analysis. Take a look at these trees. Now what was that? And who turned the camera? They're in awfully straight lines, aren't they? Now this must be a different blast because it's coming from a different direction. Wait, now they've put it back. But those are the same trees we saw in the first clip, aren't they? And now this. First they showed us these trees that they pan left on. Then they show us these trees that look like they should be next to a model train. Notice how straight the rows are. It looks artificial to me. Then they show us these trees again. Where's the forward camera? And then back to these trees again. So I don't have the time here to go into the analysis of this stuff. I've, I've spent quite a bit of time watching it. And I, there's no question in my mind that they're lying. That it's fakery. And if they have to lie uh, and create these fake images of the supposed nuclear explosions why are they doing that well we'd have to conclude that because those things don't exist now we have not heard much lately from the government about nuclear proliferation remember that was a big issue uh, but supposedly the u.s government could stock up a bunch of silver and put it into giant magnets and uh, spin it around on some track and produce enough uh, uranium to produce an atomic bomb that blows up uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But nobody can do that now, or only select people can do that now. Well, the whole story is ridiculous on its face. I don't believe a word of it. And uh, it's it's just like the uh, 911. Um, it's just like the faked moon landing. You know, now that we can examine the evidence, we're finding out more and more how much they've lied. Why would they lie? And how is silver connected to this lie? I'm not really sure, but I believe it is. Uh, so I don't believe the story is true. I don't think that it really matters. 
the question is how much silver does the US government stockpile and I don't think it's any uh, if anybody can get that table uh, it's very very interesting showing a lot of things Now I pulled another table uh, from Bix uh, I'm sorry from the USGS uh, that was similar to the one that Bix pulled but it ended in the year 1990 but it was kind of interesting because that table unlike this table it labeled the second column here not secondary production but uh, refinery production which is kind of interesting to me I was thinking that uh, secondary production might be the secondary mine production but that doesn't really make any sense because uh, sec mine production from secondary metals would also be part of mine production so apparently secondary production is refinery so you can see here that, uh, as Bix points out with the yellow here, these very suspicious numbers in the 90s where two years they don't even report primary production. But you can also see coinciding with that, the secondary production absolutely explodes from 162 to 1700 in, from 1993 to 1994. So that is a tenfold increase in refinery production. And it went on for, we don't know what these two years are, but it went on for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 years, uh, 12, 13, 14, I mean, a huge amount of silver being refined secondary. So if these numbers are true, and I have no idea whether they're true or not, uh, there was some gigantic amount of silver that they all of a sudden started refining in 1994. And uh, apparently still are. Um, this goes to 2012. The, the other one shows 1996, a big drop off, but that's primary production. You can see that the big drop off in 2006. And that was when the silver ETF came out. So again, if anybody has this table, uh, I would really be interested to just do a video and analyze all the information on this table. Uh, do I believe that the silver came from nuclear production? No, because I don't even believe that that's real. I believe that this, that's just another hoax that they've convinced us of, um, along with all the others, and uh, they're lying about that. And we'll talk to you next time.